How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to go and do uh, the mission or contract sorry called Special Order uh, where I've got to go and deliver this boat to uh, it's on uh, what's this map called? North Peak? North Peak National Park? Um, it's at the top of that map really. Well I don't know because I genuinely when I first ever scouted this map it brought the map up with a gateway at the bottom so I have the map rotated this way but now it keeps loading the map the other way so I really don't know with the exception of Chernokomensk whatever it's called I um, I did the maps like in what they show up when I go on them uh, anyway yeah <laughs> to Northport uh, again I keep calling it Northport North Peak uh, the kind of the dock at the top of the map and for this one in the end I decided to take uh, Steve because I was considering taking the Mac defense as like in the thumbnail that's what was in there um, yeah now by the way was, my back's still pretty painful <laughs> I was trying to lay back and uh, I wasn't really paying attention um, yeah the thumbnail for the when you load this map is the Mac defense so I was kind of thinking about doing that but I remember for one preferably I wanted uh, a truck with like a higher chassis just because it's a trailer like the, that the boat's on that I don't particularly like that much anyway to be honest thanks to the people that reminded me I even needed a saddle high because I was going to take a saddle low um, I just never even really gave it much thought because I don't use this trailer really but I yeah I even thought it was a saddle low um, overall it wasn't too bad I did it on the live stream which was with Modvicks and I did it with a uh, AGL version of this and yeah it went pretty well it went pretty well until I loaded across to the next map <laughs> and then I've put a little bit of footage because funny enough it was the first ever time I tested it but I saved uh, the footage during the live stream really while a few things were going on and yes that's why I settled on this in the end I just knew that it was a big hefty truck a few people had said that the trailer and that is a bit <laughs> unironically boaty uh, it flops around quite a lot and I could tell it did in the live stream, but obviously having like a modded version of a truck and all the rest of it being this one as well sits nice and wide and everything. So yeah, I just knew it was a good choice. The Mac Defense, I don't doubt I could have done this mission with it. I couldn't honestly say if it would be harder or easier. I'd imagine just a little bit more, because that thing's catching its axles and all sorts. Um, yeah, just in the scheme of things, I think it'd beach a bit more, but I'm sure it'd get done. And there was a few times, it's funny because the boat and the trailer and that doesn't even really feel heavy per se, like that this is struggling under normal circumstances, but there's certainly some bits on this map tonight where, I don't know, the engine in this, it's kind of, I remember saying this on Wisconsin, phase three, it's almost as if they've made it so you're like you're really high in elevation and the engines are more starved of oxygen like even when I was going through the gears in this it still just kind of felt nearer that it wasn't making much difference I kind of found especially the high gear is pretty naff on this truck uh, high gear auto and high low were all pretty much identical speeds so again sort of a I think we need to redo and unbreak whatever they did because these gearboxes used to be really nice I don't know by the time obviously we got this it was already this is a custom version really because it's a um, isn't this one the 6 speed aren't they normally 5 or something but I will say in auto most of the time it's ticking along now yeah I don't miss high that much I, overall I don't use high as much in the advanced special gearboxes anyway But I certainly don't miss it uh, with this. And But yeah, I just noticed tonight, it was kind of forcing me. It felt like it was just purposely going slower again. And uh, I, as I was testing it out and that, yeah, all three different gear options were pretty much the uh, identical speed. So yeah, this is the one. Like I say, this is the trailer that... I'm certain this is the trailer I used years ago on Island Lake. And it glitched and started... Do you know what? That's funny, actually, because... I even said a month or two ago to someone like, oh, I only used this trailer once and uh, I said, yeah, you know, I'll, I might have to try it again. I knew I was in reverse there, by the way. I put it in forward and then I went back into reverse. I don't know why, I just quickly wanted to see <laughs> what had happened if I reverse. Will it go off the dock? 
but no, there was a wall that already preempted. Right now, I was like, oh, that's a nice thumbnail. It's looking pretty, you bastard. Telegraph pole completely ruined. Ruined everything. Uh, yeah, just potential thumbnails, but I just wanted to have a little look at the boat anyway. And yeah, now, kind of heading down the map. Uh, you could see on the way there is a bridge that's out, but it's quite nice actually, I think, cutting through the water. Certainly if you bring like a a pretty uh, big capable truck, then yeah, it's one of them where I'll probably be fixing this bridge probably won't be that high on the list. I kind of assumed this being like a special objective trailer that it would, if anything, that bridge was going to need to be built for this, but it's one of them, I say, it's sort of nice for the live stream because sometimes it's kind of I'm a bit behind where I am on making the videos but then during the live stream I kind of catch up on that and maybe get a few missions ahead so then when I go back to the game I kind of a couple of missions I have a little insight into kind of what bits are going to be awkward I apologise, it actually glitched there, what a beast well, it was pretty uneventful. I drove in the water and, as you can see, if anything, it was this side. These rocks on the other side, I, I was purposely trying to aim so that goes under my axles but kind of between my tyres rather than trying to climb over it. You can see the boat now starts to lean, um, but Steve has got a good bit of weight in him and has got them horse on the roof, which helped him keep that front end down. <laughs> a load guarantee. Um, yeah, and there you go. It didn't tip. And that's what I mean. It even power wise in certain sections it feels like this truck's got enough to tow this thing and even weight wise there it's still got enough to be the dominant force of the two like you certainly if you had a light truck uh, I actually like this truck for smaller tyres on it that the step tow the original or step 310 whatever it is that doesn't weigh hardly anything so I'd imagine like there as a prime example once the trailer started tipping it take the truck with you but yeah, this, it's got enough oomph to it that it's not really an issue. But then like now, even when I'm climbing up here, it just when you climb through the gears I sort of felt tonight, it didn't really... It reminded me of my first car that, that I've said was sort of horrifically slow. And it was one of them where when you changed gear, it didn't really... It made a different noise because you're now at a different rev range, but it didn't really do anything. Even if you floored it, eventually long term the speed would technically increase but there wasn't like floor it and you don't feel anything <laughs> not even a little judder back in your seat or nothing um yeah it was just that's it and that's what this kept feeling like tonight that even when it was changing gears in auto it kind of barely felt like it was really going faster than say it was doing in second gear anyway even when it was up in like fourth fifth or whatever See there, <laughs> fourth to fifth, and if anything, it went slower. I hit uh, L1 to drop it back down, kind of instead of it forcing me to go back to first. It's not the end of the world. I just kind of noticed it as a thing that I'd... overall, it's sort of one thing when the game forces you to stay in first, and I often uh, am mashing L1 trying to convince the game to let me jump up into second or more um, so that's kind of the main issue even getting to second or whatever once you do generally speaking the trucks kind of apply a bit more oomph through that gear and you pick up speed uh, yeah it didn't really feel like that was uh, happening as much I assume it's that tree I'll just hit there slap bang in the middle of the road not too bad though overall Steve's not bad for getting caught on that sort of stuff but some of those trees can be a bit of a troll, so I'm not even going to try and send it through the axle. I was more concerned about the trailer, to be honest. In its defence to the trailer, because it's got a nice bank of wheels on the back, the kind of, should we say, step deck bit, like, the, I don't know, call it like a gooseneck at that point, but it doesn't appear to be like where it particularly gave me too much hassle. I was going to say as well, the legs on the trailer don't... It's them that can be a serious troll, like even on the 8th slot, they're horrific for digging in. Uh, this doesn't, didn't seem to really be an issue tonight. In fact, there's one exception, but it's coming up in a minute, and it's kind of more on me. And I knew I already kind of planned that I was going to do this, even though I know I could have done the uh, 
the other option the easier option. I mean, you can see there it's leaning as well, but it never really seems to fight me to the point. Uh, yeah, this is that mission that's called, like, you know, you've got to go around the marshes or whatever the hell it is. Uh, I already knew now. I could have just gone off to the left, basically. But, again, in the live stream, I've been over here a couple of times, I think, even besides the live stream. The actual roadblock isn't insane compared to some they do. And um, I drove over here in the AGL Mastodon uh, with this boat. And, yeah, that walked over it, like, no issues. But I kind of thought, yeah, in theory, this should... At least give it some kind of attempt. Worst case, I'll just reverse and go round. But I got the front end up. It's funny though, because even when I was getting the front end up there, I was in auto and I kind of ran out of power and it wouldn't climb anymore. I put it in high low and it started climbing. Which is not necessarily fully uncharacteristic for this game. But it does make you think if I'm in auto and I'm in first and I'm flooring it, you know, like normally in real life, you would technically get access to all of your power even if that means you end up wheel spinning and whatnot. I, I did a little edit there but there wasn't a lot it was probably like a 30 second minute edit there was a little bit of kind of looking around thinking oh, which tree shall I winch to then uh, well I kind of had a choice between the telegraph pole on my left or the tree uh, yeah overall wasn't that bad uh, the trailer basically I suppose where it does step down a little bit um, was getting caught on the rocks but again I'll kind of give it a free pass on that one because I was pushing my luck uh, and then, yeah, I did a winch from like the middle of Steve to the tree. And that was it. I adjusted my angle a little bit, but nothing crazy. I didn't really like reverse off it and have another attempt at it or anything. I just kind of scooted my truck over to the right a little bit more just to try and aim the trailer at a lower bit of the rocks. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. And I think now, yeah, it started going a little bit on the uh, slow side again. Keep it real. We got jokes. Now, I think by now, overall, this map, that's, that's kind of the main bit done there, really. And to be fair, I still think overall, averaged out, these maps are all uh, pretty fair. And yeah, as I said, I've sort of found myself having enough spare time that I'm messing around a little bit more. Whereas, I, like, you know, just sometimes, even though I do want to play the game, you just sometimes it can be trollish enough to where you just sort of think I'll I'll tolerate the trollishness and enjoy the game despite that but by the time I've done the mission and whatnot I'm sort of that's enough snow runner for today but yeah with this one I kind of know which is nice because I can just mess around a little bit more I mean even taking that uh, the boat and that just over that rock slide there I didn't need to just kind of curiosity really I brought a a decent enough truck that I thought could climb it, and he did. Keep getting all these little uh, glitches in the footage I've noticed. They're only probably like half a second or a second, but they're a pain, which also probably means my uh, PlayStation memory is getting full again. There is at some point, I keep saying it and I keep meaning to do it, I mean it's one of them where I kind of need to be not in the right mood like that but the right, yeah I don't know, frame of mind to <laughs> attempt it. There's a, I've got some other footage of different games, I should probably try and sort the videos I'm going to do it. It's like that, I suppose the uh, Isle of Man TT game. Now I've done that I was just able to delete most of the footage that I was saving but I just kind of knew I probably won't use but I won't delete it until I've got a video done out of it. So yeah I probably could do with freeing up a bit more a bit more space. It never lasts long though, the, the PS4 memory is definitely far too small really. funny as well when you think like PS2 I remember getting like an 8 megabit or megabyte whatever it is a uh, memory card <laughs> and you're just like yep that's that is a monster and that actually could keep quite a lot on it back then maybe not towards the end so much but certainly when Nero when they first came out and then funnily enough years later I've got it somewhere a PS2 now that I bought a couple of years ago and just it was good because you go on eBay and it's like 
really good games that you remember that are absolute giants in their day kind of thing. You know, they're all like 50p a quid. I bought a wrestling game off there that was like 50p and it didn't even work. <laughs> I still gave them a positive review because it's like, I'm not ruining their eBay with a negative. Like, they're not trying to scam me out of 50p. I bet they're just, yeah, someone that's like, their son's, that they just found it in the back of the loft or something and flogged it. But, um, yeah, I bought a... Might be like 256 megabytes, it's still tiny by today's standards, but uh, you know, just like a, a newer version of the 8 megabyte uh, memory card. And yeah, again, it's funny how quick it all, it all moves on. I wasn't paying attention then, <laughs> as usual, so I don't even think I attempted a turn before I hit that tree. See, all those days of driving, not only with a loaf on the roof, but as well the Navistar with all its smoke you kind of have to drive at this angle you could drive with the camera straight behind you but you kind of got the top bit of that boat sticking in the way a little bit not that I mind, again this this angle is pretty much how I drove on Mudrunner anyway because it was kind of very handy to watch the tyres oh yeah, at this point so I got here and it basically says something about travelling through the gateway because there might be a collision issue or something and the Zix and the trailer. Doesn't say the loaf because it's goddamn professional. You can travel anywhere. Um, I was actually supposed to then hit refuse kind of thing and uh, wait for it to save, but my cat was on me again, <laughs> clawing me on my arm. Um, so I was chilling with him for a bit. I just, I hit X. I was like, oh, bollocks. I, I wanted to let it save first just in case the trailer started flying around. So normal playthrough, I made it through. I have put a bit of footage in. This was now in the live stream. The camera, I'm gonna say something's going on. So I'm obviously talking on the live stream. I mean, what a goddamn professional! He's flying a boat. That's not easy. See, loaf had a go. Time his life. He and yeah, long enough. He might land where I need to take it. Well, yeah. Why am I? See, we are heading nearer. Just I was think. hoping. Just have faith. And he admit it, he didn't think I was going to attempt the mission airborne. Neither did I. But we are. If it just kept heading that way. Reminds me of my Hummer days. If you look at it. you got to admit, is that, that is pretty tranquil. The way he's just slowly floating around. No, I actually do mean that. <laughs> that was so nice nice to watch. Where'd my loaf go anyway? That's it's good that the loaf listens. So I tried to drag it out of the trees. <laughs> right, see if it flings me like that again. I might live my dream of flying over the mountain after all. If I release the loaf now, or the winch. I was hoping, yeah. It'd launch me up in the air, oh, but... Dolphin wrestling was extreme. He's hanging on, I'll give him that. He definitely doesn't want to let go. He doesn't like to tap out. Oh. And then... Damn. <laughs> it releases, it was flinging me to the floor. In theory. If it was when I was flying up in the air. Jesus Christ. Got a tree stuck up his ass. Might have to detach the trailer. Mm -hmm. So I sent the loaf back in. Loaf's hanging on to that tree pretty well. As usual, he knows what he's doing. I've got that professional with him, straight back to the road. But yeah, there was some resistance from the from the boat, I'll admit. In the forest. Attempts were made though. Whoa! Was looking alright, and then bam. Oh. oh, we might not be getting out of this one. It's not the first time I've been in the floor. It's not easy getting out of the floor. <laughs> I've got a few hummers on White Valley that are still in there to this day, to be honest. So yeah, that's kind of how that one ended, as far as the live stream goes, really. Uh, this is the route now, just got to take it back down, basically towards the garage. It's just 
the slipway on the opposite side of like where the ferry drops you off. Um, yeah, so that's basically what happened. Like I went through the gateway and just as the, you know, it loaded and the camera went down, I was already flying around. Um, for what it's worth, and I kind of thought this on the night anyway, but ju I just thought tonight to make it clear, I don't think it was AGL's Mastodon. I do think it's this trailer and the boat because even as an example tonight, um, when I went to go through the gate gateway, it brought that warning up basically saying there might be like a collision issue. And yeah, I accidentally hit accept basically, so it loaded through. And in the end, when it actually loaded me through, I kind of was on a bit of a diagonal angle through the gateway. That was it. So, which is probably a better op a better option than back in the day. I remember traveling through them in the eight slot trailers that they never really liked going through gateways too much. That used to stick basically back into the gateway and hook over, you know, like the barriers and that they had there. So it seems they've. Uh, made some kind of attempt to improve it because I was uh I came through diagonally instead. <laughs> Jeez, I do quite like this view. That might actually be a thumbnail and then they ruin it with another telegraph pole and then wires. Uh yeah, I mean the way with that live stream, um obviously it started flying around I was honestly hoping, and it nearly did at one point, it thought about it, like, fly towards where I've got to drop the boat off, but then it started heading back to the gateway. Um, I put a winch on it with the loaf, and there was some resistance, it did fight back a bit. I flew around, uh, yeah, I did try to time it to where I release the loaf and I go flying up in the air, but I did it the opposite way, so it, like, as I was flying uh, to the ground. Credit to the loaf, he did a, a pretty good impact on the ground and then immediately just popped back out. Uh, and then yeah, at some point the camera angles got a bit mad. It slammed me into the ground, I've now gone under the map. And yeah, if some of you haven't seen like way back, I, d I couldn't even remember what videos are on or anything, but I had some uh, hummers glitching on White Valley. And yeah, I've got about three of them stuck in half in the floor, some fully in the floor, uh, one's up in the sky and yeah they, they're just stuck I mean one was stuck at some point uh, kind of just off the cliffs at White Valley where I jump off the cliffs so I drew a, a drove even it might have even been uh, would it have been Fox's twin stair either way it was a twin stair going flat out down there like probably even Jeff specialed it so it was going like super speed in high gear and as I flew off the mountain I stuck a winch to the Hummer and it absolutely stopped my twin steer dead that was yeah like high speed mid air maximum possible momentum there's a chance though I mean I'm not going to sit there for hours doing it but when I load the live stream back up if I go on to them vehicles occasionally those Hummers have flown back out of the ground before but at that point they don't really stop flying around to be honest, they just fly around in the air then until at some point they slam violently into the ground. I mean the game would probably like me to hit recover but I'm not doing that. Although like I said in this occasion it took my boat so I'm actually in theory I'll have to restart the mission just to yeah do this and then it's gonna obviously reset the boat back to like the top of North Peak which I'm not too bothered especially the fact that it's on my mod playthrough there's enough mods that I can soon rip through and get it done in a few minutes um, and yeah I think as well even though like the overall objective of this is just to drop the boat off it says the ship is launched or whatever but I don't think it actually really counts so even if I had to miss it off the live stream it wouldn't uh, uh, yeah it wouldn't really matter if I never complete it so at this point this is where you got to drop it off I kind of I got a bit carried away for about a full second I was prepared to be a fish thankfully life taught me out of it see and had I fully drowned myself he probably would have zombie winched me back out of there um, yeah, that's where you're supposed to take it to though. You can now see on the other side in a minute, 
um, the boat's now in the water basically. Money wise, I'm not really fussed. It, it was quite a cool mission. I like overall the like special objective trailers just to yeah, something a bit more unique. And yeah, um, over here, driving here, there's like some little rails in the way. So, long story short, sent in the loaf, got himself a little a little selfie with a boat. Always oh, got himself a new boat, and he keep it real. It's now loaf property. Um, yeah, and that's it. Overall, pretty good mission. Steve was a good truck to do it, um, and that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our Patreon members. Get yourself a loaf because he's a beast, and I'll be back soon.